great Friday evening, the first one of the new year 2021. To God be the glory for his faithfulness throughout this day. And we know that he's going to be faithful throughout the year, no matter what happens to us, no matter what comes our way. We know that God has walked out of our walked out all of our steps and we can just trust him and obey and follow him in peace. We have as a testimony the last verse of Proverbs 1 where it says that we shall be quiet from fear of evil, right? As far as the tidings, the evil tidings that we hear of the news and the statistics and this and that. Now we pray for what is going on around us, but we're not going to worry because we place our faith, belief, and assurance in the Lord. It says, but whoso hearkeneth, who listens actively to the Lord unto me, wisdom shall dwell safely. We shall have perfect security, knowing that the Lord will always be with us. And I reminded my son of a verse that was on the cover of my dad's funeral program obituary. I never noticed this verse before, but my mom picked it. And it is from Proverbs 15, 31. It says, he that, the ear that heareth the reproof of life, the corrections of life, abideth, lives, dwells among the wise. But then it goes on to say like, you know, someone who thinks that they know everything and you know, this and that, and uh -uh, I'm grown, I'm all that. Mm -mm. Say he that refuseth instruction, despiseth, they hate their own soul and their life. But he or she that heareth reproof or openness to instruction, getteth understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. And we know Proverbs 1 talks about as far as the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And it just reiterates that theme. So the way to stay trouble, worry-free is to listen to the Lord, hearken to the Lord, and know that he's going to always be with us. And that brings us to Genesis 46. Jacob, Israel, was about to take that journey to Egypt to see Joseph, and he took all 70 of his descendants. But it opens up saying that the Lord would be with him. In verse 4, I will go down with thee into Egypt, and I will surely bring thee up again. Yeah. So we don't know where we're going to go this year as far as twists and turns. Maybe we might relocate the job. Maybe the Lord will have us to go this place, go that. Know that Emmanuel, the Lord is with you all the days of the year. Not only during the Christmas season when we're singing about Emmanuel, but in the spring, in the fall, in the winter, in the summer. God is with us and he he appeared to Jacob in the evening time. And it says that Jacob went to offer sacrifices of the ancestors leader, which was the Lord, the God of Abraham and Isaac. So this is the evening time and we're offering a sweet sacrifice of praise and worship. Nothing like evening service and reflecting on God's goodness. All right, I'm gonna toss it to Timotheus. Okay, so in the last verse of Genesis, 46 um, says that ye say that thy servant's trade hath been about cattle from our youth even until now both we and also our fathers that ye may dwell that ye may dwell in the land of Goshen for every shepherd is an abomination unto Egyptians I like that scripture <clears throat> because for two reasons for one because um, sometimes you'll have to you won't always be want to fit in in certain places so sometimes it'll be good for you to be the outlier or the the oddball out because you just not everywhere you want to fit in yeah. so i think fitting in is often uh, um, overrated yeah. the second part is uh, no matter what your profession is you can still make a a, a huge difference so right like right now um being a like a judge and being like the gender of the courtroom are two very different uh you know they're looked at they're seen as as two um completely different fields and 
people think you can have more of an impact or it's more important to be a judge. But even as a janitor, you, know, you can you can have some profound uh, effects on people. And um, yeah, so I don't think any profession should be seen as less than the other. Unless you're degrading yourself, you know, like stripping or if you're a, an, an X-rated film star or something like that. If, if you're not comfortable with telling your parents about it, I don't think you should be doing a job at all. That's what I got to say. Oh, that's excellent. My son, hear the instruction. That's in verse 8 of Proverbs 1. That, that's some good wisdom of uh, thy parents. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head. We, we looked at ornaments in Christmas. We're about to store them. And then it should be chains about thy neck. Yes, yeah, the wisdom of the Lord. Let's continue to radiate with God's love and, and his goodness all year. Have a good one. Amen.